good morning my gorgeous angel friends welcome back to my channel back to a new video it is literally morning right now like the crack of freaking dawn and apparently there's a truck outside it is 6 24 on tuesday the 28th of january and i'm up my makeup's done i've been up since 5 30 and there's nothing worse than waking straight up in the morning and putting makeup on let me just tell you how much i actually hate to do that it is the first day back at work for most people after australia day but not for me <laughs> what we're doing today is something completely different why is there so many trucks what's going on excuse me it's too early in the morning what are you doing so today we are heading up to canberra because my little baby sissy has her enlistment day for the freaking army. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, I don't even know. I don't know, we're obviously all very, very, very proud of her, but we're gonna, I think I will especially miss her so, so much. But um, yeah, we're all extremely proud. And I don't know, we'll guess, I guess we'll see what happens. She's just old enough to still do a gap year. So she'll be gone at least a year, which I know isn't a lot of time for some people. But for me, I just think of like all the things that happen in a year that she's going to miss out on. And it makes me sad, but it's okay. I just need to tell myself she's not dying and she might even come back early. Maybe she'll hate it. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm such an awful sister. But um, we need to go. Just thought I'd show you guys the little enlistment outfit. Um, this is another white ASOS dress. Who's surprised? Not me. I absolutely love this one. It's so flowy and so poofy. And I don't know, I feel sort of like a little rag doll when I wear it, honestly. Um, and then, of course, just wearing it with my white little, um, what are these called? White sandals from Ruby Shoes slash Cotton On. I am obsessed with these and wear them with pretty much everything. I guess we better go. I'm so sad. But I will see you guys when we... Go there. We're here with the fam. Here's Sam and Koa. Dad and everyone's over there. We are just waiting to go in. I'm very happy this isn't for me because I'm putting my pants and it's not even. Anything to do with me? Is it Koa? No. <laughs> Swear that I will well and truly serve. Swear that I will well and truly serve. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Her heirs and successors according to law. Her heirs and successors according to law. As a member of the Royal Australian Army. As a member of the Royal Australian Army. For the period of. For the period of four years. For the period of one year. For the period of one year. For the period of four years. And any extensions of that period. And any extensions, extensions of that period. Or until retiring age. Or until retiring age. And that I will resist her enemies. And that I will resist her enemies. And faithfully discharge my duty. And faithfully discharge my duty according to the law. Thank you, guys. Congratulating and welcoming the newest members of the Australian Army. How are you feeling? Oops, they look really nice. Thank you. I'm a fan. Where did you get this from? Um, I got it from Maya and the top from H&M. It's lovely. What are you doing over there, Isabel? <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing standing over there in your weird uniform? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
cup of tea. <laughs> oh, it must be like a cup of tea. Isabel, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't make jokes it's very, <laughs> oh, make jokes, it's very serious. Oh, I love her pantsuit thing. Suit, lady suit. Here we are, tea for my belly. Go on, keep going. What? Keep going. No. You have something to say, you can say it on the vlog. Oh, I've got nothing to say. I'm going to hear your music. We love you. We love you. You look brutal right now. I always do that. It's a copy. Hang on, look. It's like so hot. Oh, it's like so hot. Yeah. 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 When you're being mean, I'll just pull out the camera, then you'll be really nice. <laughs> in H&M, Belle's little thing's done. We've got about half an hour before she actually has to go. I've dragged everyone in here. Would love to do a shop with me in here, but the music is always so incredibly loud, it freaks me out a little bit. Done and done. Something to make me feel a bit better. Ooh, get it room. <laughs> Make it all right, put the camera out. Oh, Love you. I'm proud of you. Oh. Oh. See you soon. Love you. Say it, do as you're told. Yes. <laughs> Don't talk back. Do as you're told. Oh. Why is it upstairs charging? Oh, good work. At the end near the tap See ya! Bye! Oh, I'm glad I can't see it through the window. Oh, I'm gonna cry now. Oh, hello, hello everybody. It is many, many hours later. It's three o'clock. Isabel is still on the bus. Oh, I don't know how she does it. Like, to me, that feeling of, like, loneliness and being, like, homesick and away from, like, what's comfortable is basically my worst nightmare. <laughs> I am a know, but, yeah, like I said earlier, very proud of her. But, on a lighter note, this afternoon, I'm going to go do the body balance class at the gym, which involves getting changed and taking my makeup off and just chilling out, which I'm really excited to do today because I just feel upset. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I, I'm going to have to put you on silent, sissy. I thought I'd show you guys a few things that I picked up from H&M. Really nothing to get too excited about. <laughs> I tried on a couple of really cute tops in there, but they were like legit see-through. So I sadly left them behind, but I was like, you know what? I can probably find something from like Meshki or somewhere else that's relatively the same thing, but actually nice quality because they were just see-through and I was really disappointed about it. But anyway, first thing is a shirt I found in the men's section, which I thought was just right up my alley. Two of my favorite things, it's baby pink. And actually three of my favorite things. Oversized, baby pink, and it's got Super Mario um, on there. So yeah, that was a shirt that I found in the men's section, which I thought would be a really cute PJ shirt. It was a little bit expensive for a PJ shirt. I don't know, 25 bucks. I guess if it was an actual pajama shirt, it would be cheaper. The next little thing that I picked up was something for autumn slash winter. And when the weather finally starts to cool down, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to winter this year. I love winter fashion. I love knits. I love nice pants and coats and scarves and boots and just pretty much everything that comes with winter. Going away to Threadbow, schnapps, cold nights. I'm ready for that. I do love summer, but... I think this year I just need a good summer holiday somewhere tropical and just away from here and away from fires and away from all the crap. So anyway, back to the topic. This is the next little jumper that I picked up. It is not like high necked, but it's sort of like 
I don't even know how to describe it, but it looks really cute on. I tried it on, but it's very cute, very flowy, a little bit oversized, and I thought it would be really, really nice come winter time, tucked into a pair of like leather look pants. I'm all about that vibe, can't wait. And the last little thing that I picked up was just this really, really soft and comfortable oversized jumper. I was gonna get this in a large, but they're actually pretty big. So I grabbed it in a medium. This was 25 bucks as well, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought that color was a bit of a vibe. What do you guys think? I don't know. I just thought it'd be nice to sort of laze around the house in. It sort of reminds me of a Bonds one that I saw, I think last season, but yeah. Can you tell I'm getting really excited for winter now? <laughs> Can't wait. And this is going to be my afternoon. I'm going to take my makeup off, get changed into my gym gear, and I guess I will see you guys when it's time for us to go. I don't know if I'll record much of the body balance class just because my sister has asked me to record her as like an assessment thing. She's a body balance instructor and she's going to be teaching our class tonight. So yeah, I don't know, unless I want to be that girl that brings 20 cameras into the gym, which I definitely don't want to be, but anyway, that's what's going on. I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, we are ready for the gym, and I am actually fully bumming it today. I'm literally just going to go like this. It's raining outside. These are the Act ribbed tights. It's also pretty cold, so I figured I would just try and get away with wearing these in my new giant oversized jumper. <laughs> And um, underneath this, I just have on an oversized shirt and a sports bra because do I care? No, I don't. So I'm going to go to the class and then I think Clarkie and I are going to catch up again for dinner. I really wish that I bought this jumper in every single color because it is the comfiest thing and I'm actually so obsessed with it. It just really makes me miss winter. But anyway, I'll see you guys in a minute. Change of plans and the sissy isn't teaching the class anymore. I'm over here. Yeah, you got the sec. Feeling like Justin Bieber a little bit in this get up, I was just saying. <laughs> Hopefully it's a good class. We're doing something different today. I'm a creature of habit. I don't cope with different. It is the next day. It's like 5.30, quarter to six-ish, and I'm back home from work. Just got changed, and I've literally just been sitting at the breakfast bar, binge-watching the Justin Bieber series, and stuffing my face with chicken twisties, when I really should be going to the gym, but I'm sort of just avoiding it lately. I don't know. I've been going for body balance, but that's pretty much all I've been doing at the gym lately, which <laughs> definitely needs to change, but... This afternoon, or tonight I should say, I am just going to go see Clay's family. I figured I'd bring you guys along. I actually had a really long and boring day at work today. But, at work today, they had a counsellor there. And everyone, well not everyone, but heaps of us went in and did like a massive like group therapy session. <laughs> and we just sort of sat there and like talked about the bushfires and how everyone had been feeling. And it was just nice to first of all, talk to different people about everything and sort of just see where everyone else is at with it. Um, I thought it would be fun if we just sort of turn this vlog into like a weekly vlog because I need some cheering up after yesterday, like honestly. I'm already missing Isabel 
so so much i messaged her phone today even though i know she i know she's not gonna have her phone on her and i know that she'll be lucky if she gets given it this sunday it being her first sunday in the freaking army but um yeah i just miss her a lot i'm literally just rambling so i'm gonna get my stuff together go out and see clay's family clay's still working away and I could honestly really use the company. I still don't have internet, still don't have proper phone service at home, and it has been a month. Right, I'm going to stop talking. I'll see you guys when we get to Clay's family's place, and I might stop in on the way there and see my little niece, Koa, and see my sister, Sam. So I'll see you guys in a second. But first, a quick little beach walk I think. I think I'm in desperate need of another beach day. intention to vlog at Clay's parents place and I had every intention to vlog at my sister's place and I just didn't like I literally just forgot I think because I was honestly just feeling so crap this afternoon I just completely forgot to pull the camera out but it's nine o'clock I'm just doing some washing and I'm gonna have a shower and go to bed and that's gonna be my night super boring but just trying to get myself back into a routine, like, uh, I just feel like I don't even live in this house anymore. I just come here and sleep here, partially eat here, do my washing, and then maybe edit a video here every now and then. But, like, we've watched pretty much every DVD that we own, which is a crap ton. There's honestly not a whole lot to do. When you're in a situation like what I'm in, like I live in this little house, there's not much of a backyard and there's no internet and there's no phone service and it's pretty lonely. Like I feel like I'm saying it all the time, like how freaking lonely I am and like just being really depressing, but it is the truth. Like I get tired of being here by myself and I get bored and I feel like not having internet at home and not having phone service at home is actually really unmotivating like i desperately need to clean this house like i cleaned it really really well after the fires and everything went through but um i feel like i can't remember the last time i just did the whole house like just vacuumed all the floors and mopped everything and just like cleaned all the toilets and the bathrooms and the shower and just like wiped down everything all in the one go like i feel like I just can't wait to live in this house again, even though that makes like no sense. This is gonna be my night. I am gonna go have a shower and go to bed, and I suppose I will continue the vlog again in the morning or tomorrow afternoon. Oh my god, now my washing machine's going nuts. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning for me and in one second for you. I also just realized how close I'm holding the camera to my face. I'm sorry, I just love you and I really just wanna be like this close to you just one more thing a little bit of a update on the book situation i am absolutely obsessed and love this so so much i don't think i've ever read a book so quickly in my life i'm just about halfway through and i feel like i've only been reading this for maybe a few days maybe a week max like just whenever i get the time i read a few chapters and i've been taking it down to the beach with me and it's just so I don't know what it is about it, but it just keeps, like, it's just a real, I think the expression is, page turner. <laughs> anyway, yeah, if you're looking for a new book, definitely 10 out of 10. So far, would absolutely recommend this one. Anyway, good night. Good morning, beautiful angels. It is, I think, a couple days. Oh my god, what's my camera doing? I know I said I'd vlog in the morning, and when I said that, I meant the next day, not 
two days later. So it's now Friday and I am obviously at home on a Friday, which is not the norm because it's another really bad fire day today and you guys know the rest. So yeah, yesterday I just went to work and then spent the afternoon sort of just preparing for today. Clay's going to be back later on this afternoon. Um, and then tomorrow's meant to be a really bad day again. Just over it, over talking about it. You guys already know. But yeah, last night I, I actually was doing some cleaning. Can you believe it? <laughs> I feel like I haven't cleaned this house probably in such a long time. And I know that I probably should have vlogged it, but I just decided not to because there will be a massive clean with me coming over the next couple of weeks at some point whenever I can get the opportunity to actually just do a whole house clean I'm seriously looking forward to it so so much and hopefully I can have a new vacuum by then that would just be amazing but we'll see so yeah spent yesterday afternoon just preparing for the next couple of days when I got petrol and all that type of thing this morning I actually went to the gym and went on another little sissy date with my sister Sam. And on another note, guess what came in the mail yesterday? I think it was in the last vlog that I was talking about um, like book recommendations and what books should I get to read because I'm, like I've said, one of my New Year's resolutions, well, it's not a resolution, but just something I wanted to do more of this year was read more. So, I went a little bit crazy on Booktopia. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which you definitely should because that is like, I feel like everything's way more formal on YouTube, but Instagram, we hang out, it's a really chilled vibe. I get to actually talk to you guys properly. And um, yeah, so I've already shared this on Instagram, but I wanted to show my gals over here on YouTube what books I recently picked up and I cannot wait to read. First one, I've heard amazing things about this it's meant to be incredible these are all like thrillers and they're all by Shari Lapina I basically just ordered all of her books so we have the couple next door the unwanted guest a stranger in the house and someone we know which I think she's only recently brought this out as far as I know but I cannot wait to start these I'm almost finished reading my um current book which is the silent patient or silent patient one of the other the silent patient or silent patient i really I, I don't know but anyway i think i've already mentioned that in this vlog sorry i can't keep track of what i've said when the vlog spans over a few days like i just sort of i've lost the plot but <laughs> anyway i cannot wait to get started on those but oh <laughs> clearly this is not working out i might just hold it right prop it up here yeah. let's just sit on the floor we need to move around a little bit i think hello i'm gonna wrap this vlog up here because i'm sure it's been an extremely extremely long one yeah i think that's gonna be it for this video i don't think i have anything else to say other than i love you guys so so much and i really hope you guys are all safe this weekend and just take care of each other look out for each other be kind in the comments and um, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already and you would like to be because it really helps support my channel and it honestly just keeps me going. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog um, and I will see you in the next one.